Konnichiwa! Welcome to Learn Japanese with Masa Sensei. My name is Masa and I am teaching Japanese grammar for beginners. Today in this lesson, we will learn about Tari. No, I have a question. How do you say there are an apple and an orange? We say Ringo to Mikan ga arimasu. So we, when we want to say and, we use to. How about there are an apple, an orange, and so on? In this case, we use Ringo ya mikan nado ga arimasu. So when we want to say someone or etc we use ya nado now these are in case of nouns when we want to say on sunday i tied up my room i cook and so on in this case we use tari so tari is for verbs So, in case of verb, you change into ta form and put together with di. If it's negative, you change into nakatta plus di. If it's i adjective, you make it to ta form and to put together with di. I adjective negative will be nakatta plus di. Na adjective datta plus Di. Na adjective negative will be dewa nakatta plus di. The first usage of tari is used to mention some representative actions or situations out of many. Usually two actions or situations are mentioned in parallel, but there are cases in which three or only one are mentioned. Now, what does this mean? Let's look at some example. So, we, uh, in order to uh, express tari, we use tari, tari shimasu, or tari, tari desu. Now, how do we say, on Sunday, I tied up my room, I cook and so on. Sunday is nichiyobi and then to tie up is to tidy up is soji o shimasu, soji o shimasu. And then to cook is ryori o shimasu, ryori o shimasu. So this shimasu part will become shitari. You make it to ta form and then put together with li. So it will become Nichiyobi wa soji o shitari, ryori o shitari shimasu. On Sunday, I tidy up my room, I cook, etc. So it means that you don't only do these two actions. It means you tidy up the room, you cook, you might want to uh, clo wash your clothes, or you might go to um, see movie, watch movie, etc. So, out of many other options, we only mention two of them. So, in this case, you use tari, tari shimasu. We can also mention three out of many options. So, if you want to say at Ginza, so Ginza is one of the district in Japan, in Tokyo. At Ginza, I watch movie, I go shopping, I eat food, etc. And so on. We say, Ginza de eiga o mitari. 買い物をしたり 
ご飯を食べたりします。So again, all the verbs will change into た form and then you put together with り、見たり、買い物をしたり、and then ご飯を食べたり。So this means you go to Ginza and then you watch TV, you, you watch movie, you go to shopping, And then you eat something, but you also do other stuff. But you only mention three things out of many options. We also can use this tari for only one action. For example, if we say,、um, during my holiday or during、um, the, the weekend, I do gain. At my house. I say, Yasumi no hi wa, Ie de, Game o shitari, Shimas. Yasumi no hi wa, Ie de, Game o shitari, Shimas. So it means,、uh, during my weekend, Or when you don't have work or school, you do game, etc. at house. So you might、um, do something else, but you only mention one action. Now, the second usage of tari is. So, it is used when two opposite meanings are used. It indicates that the actions or situations repeat alternately many times. As opposite things repeat, it also indicates that the situation is not stable. Now, for example, that person. Goes and comes back. That person goes and come back, comes back. あの人は行ったり来たりしています。So, 行きます to go and 来ます to come is the opposite meaning. So, in this, this case, it means that person goes and come back. Goes and come back、uh, and repeatedly. So, this is not a, a stable situation. So, he doesn't stay at one place, he goes and back, go and back, go and back. In this case, we use tari, tari, shimas, or in this case, we use ing form tari, tari, shite imas. Ano hito wa ittari, kitari, shite imas. On Sunday, sometimes I'm free, sometimes I'm busy. So, free is hima des, hima des, na adjective, hima na. So, in this case, we change into hima datta, hima datta, put together with li, and then isogashi. E adjective will become isogashi katta. Put together with the isogashi katta ri. So, Nichiobi wa hima datta ri. Isogashi katta ri shimas. So, this means that sometimes I am free, sometimes I am busy. So it's、uh, alternate, alternately, you're busy, you're free. How about the light turns on and off? The light turns on and off. Light is denki, and then to switch on. Switch on is つきまついたり。ついたり
And then switch off is kietari. Kietari. Denki ga tsuitari kietari shimasu. Denki ga tsuitari kietari shimasu. The light switches on and off. How about recently the weather is sometimes good, sometimes bad. Good is e, and then bad is warui. So you change into ta form, well, which will be yokatta, and then warukatta. So it becomes. 最近の天気は良かったり悪かったりします。最近の天気は良かったり悪かったりします。The weather of these days, it's sometimes good and sometimes bad. So, as you can see, always the two verbs or two adjectives have to be in the opposite meaning okay so this is all for today thank you very much for watching if you have any question please comment down in the box below thank you very much arigatou bye bye